Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, I just wanted to talk about a specific plant, and that is uh, Hygrophilia augustif, I want to say it's called. And um, if you guys have watched my video blogs, you guys have seen that uh, I took a little stem off of one of those plants and I just planted it, and I mean, it took two weeks, but it got roots. So, and I mean, this one's growing some new leaves at the top. You know, they're doing good. I mean, it's a slow process to grow these got these little things out. But, uh, you know, that, that's how it is sometimes. you got to be patient. Um, so, these guys are starting to get to the very top and bending over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim them. Um, if you guys watch my videos, you guys will see what happens. If you guys subscribe to this, I'm just going to use plain scissors. I don't have the cool tools or anything. Look at all the guppies right here. Um, so I'm going to check them out and see which ones are at the very top. That one's at the very top, and so is this one. So this would be the only two. And I'm not going to go super far down. I thought about going halfway. So I'm not really sure. I'm debating on this one. If I should go about there-ish. You know? Or if I should go a little bit higher. And I'm going to go with my gut. And I'm going to go right about here. So I'm going to do it right now. You guys get to see it in action. That's where it's going to be trimmed at. I'm going to plant these in the front, and uh, I'll do a video of them uh, in a week or two, and so you guys can see how they're doing. But, you know, you guys can see I just trimmed it, just cut it. I left uh, two little shoots like that up at the front, um, and I don't even know if I have room for this in the front. I'll put it right here. Right here. And, you know, I'm not going to lie, I, I anticipate leaves dying off of this. I really do. And then after the leaves die, it'll come back. So, and then I'm going to do this one right here. The Ligwigia is in the way. I should probably trim the Ligwigia. I don't want to trim it just yet. <laughs> I'll wait till next week. And this one I'll go a little bit lower. And this one I'll actually plant in the back. Um, the reason I'm planting this one in the back is because I want to. I'm cutting them at an angle a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see. So, kind of like a flower. And I'm putting this one back here. So, this is a pretty good amount. Um, I know some people say to trim some off the bottom to give it more like space and more room to grow and stuff. So, to each his own. So, I could tell it was getting burnt up. And then one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this little plant thing right here off of this. Voila. And I'm going to plant it right... I'm getting too much stuff in here. Right here. So, I got the second one and then in between two of them right here. And we'll see how they do. So, stay subscribed and you guys will see what's going on. Um, I mean, I think it didn't make that much of a difference. But I didn't want it bowing over and to the top and stuff. And I thought it was kind of looking kind of ghetto. So, I mean, I'll give it another week or two, and uh, I will uh, get rid of some of these plants in here. I do like the jungle theme. A lot of people have called it that. I like it, too. Cherry shrimp growing crazy. Um, I like it, too. It's plenty of cover for everything, but uh, it's a little bit too much of everything. So, um, I'm definitely, in a week or so, going to get rid of a bunch of these plants. Look at that tiny cherry. No, that's not a cherry shrimp. That's the tip of the plant. <laughs> so... Um, this one's not quite to the top all the way, as you guys can see. The other ones were at the top and starting to bend over or blow over or whatever. So I will definitely get rid of some of these plants in here eventually. I really like it though because it's completely 100% covered, so you can't complain about that. At least I can't. You know, it gives it plenty of cover. Um, I'll probably move some to the uh, to the uh, brain fart to the 55 to keep some, and then sell some and let them grow back in. I mean, these red plants have just been dominating this tank. I thought about just having one plant in a tank. I've seen it happen before where people just do just Liguigia, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to just do nothing but a red tank. But it kind of looks kind of dull. But, I mean, that's the thing is everybody I've seen on YouTube has nothing but green plants. So I think it's cool to be a little bit different because I have a lot of – I got, I think, a pretty good mix of 50-50 right now, you know, but, you know – it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said, stay subscribed. If you're not subscribed, just hit the subscribe button, and you get to see if this baby grows some roots. I'm not gonna upload. I'm not gonna uproot that one because that was kind of a bitch. But I will up uproot this one. Yeah, it's this one. 
I'll watch the video and I'll remember. And uh, you guys can see where the roots come in and eventually I'll move them towards the back. Um, and like I said, if you guys are interested in plants, subscribe and you guys will see that I'll post these on Aquabid. And uh, you guys can pick them up or pick up several of these. I think I'm going to do six pack of these. I'm going to do the tallest ones though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I might do six of these and just call it good. Um, and then let the other stuff grow in and whatnot. So, uh, questions, comments, feel free. Um, someone's going to ask me about my lights. If you watch my other videos, you'll know. But these are uh, reflectors. You can buy them at Wally World, Lowe's, Home Depot. And they're about five or six bucks. And then they have daylight bulbs in here. I'm going to turn this off real quick. Just a compact fluorescent daylight bulb. Um, you can get a four pack at, I saw at Home Depot the other day for six bucks. So definitely worth it, super easy, you know, cheap, easy, and it works. And I have a sponge filter in here, and I got dirt and gravel mix, um, but that's my setup. So I hope you guys enjoyed, um, and hopefully this is a success and hopefully not a complete plot, but we'll see in a week or two. I'll pull them out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. Hands are wet.